This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do some extreme color correction in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to use no third party plugins for this tutorial and everything is going to be kept very beginner friendly. So this way, even if you don't have uh, any video editing experience or After Effects experience, you can still follow along and understand how to do this if you're trying to create that kind of look. So this is a perfect look for music videos, for any serious projects, any drama projects and stuff like that. And you know, I'm going to show you a few ways of making your footage better by doing some very easy to do uh, compositing uh, on your videos in After Effects. So with that being said awesome people, let's get to it. So I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to take this video, draw, uh, drag it and drop it onto the composition like so, right? Now awesome people, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first look at the footage and just see how much of the footage I'm really gonna work with. Okay, so I'm, I, I want to work with the first four seconds, right? She's looking serious, she's superb, she's doing a good job fit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to FX and presets, I'm gonna type in an effect called tint, right? This is not just used for creating a black and white effect, there are other effects and after effects which can create black and white, but it can control all the colors and the blending of colors very, very nicely. But anyways, I'm going to keep this to black and white. Next, in order to create that very intense look, I'm going to go for an effect called curves. And I'm going to use this to basically clip or crush all the colors. So I'm going to work in the RGB, uh, you know, format or on the RGB channel. And I'm going to take this up and I'm going to bring this guy down right here. And as you can see, we're getting that hard tone effect. Now, if we were to experiment a little bit and if we go to tint and if we reduce this amount to tint, you're going to see we're getting that very nice hard light kind of effect. Uh, this is a very nice effect if you're trying to go for a little grunge, you know, kind of look for, uh, for your video. And if you don't like this, then you can go with all black and white, right? Uh, one thing that I like to do when if, I, if I'm trying to create this kind of effect for any video is to create a new project, uh, so, sorry, is to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to rename this to noise and to basically add an, an animated noise in uh, you know on top of the video. One easy way to do this is to go to effects and presets type in noise here and there's going to be an effect here called noise. You can also work with the other effect that most of the people use and that is called add grain that also works quite well. The problem with both these effects awesome people is that they animate very very quickly and I'm going to show you what I mean. So if I work with noise and if I increase this to say 25 and if I remove the use colors noise uh, option from here, it's going to give us a black and white noise. Uh, this is going to look quite nice but the problem is that the video is animating and I, I mean the noise is, is animating in a way where it doesn't match our video. Right. Uh, one alternative to using the noise effect in After Effects or from After Effects is to basically go to google.com and I, I actually just typed in uh, flim grains, you know, for After Effects and I got to this website premiumbeat.com, awesome awesome blogs and they basically, you know, made a blog where you can download some free, uh, you know, grains for our projects and the first website I went to is Holy Grain they're giving this for free so you can just download and use it in any project is there so commercial work is allowed and I did download it and I bought it in here so let me just show it to you right and you change the blend mode wait a sec right so so this is the footage that you get right and once you have this you change the blend mode of this to say overlay and if I play this you'll see that there's this very subtle noise and this is exactly the kind of noise we're working for or we're looking for uh, but I'm not going to use this because I want to show you guys some cool things from After Effects so we have applied our noise uh, one more way of intensifying our look is to change this adjustment layers blend mode to soft light or to overlay overlay is going to be a little uh, you know overkill in my opinion so I'm going to go for soft light and you can see 
it gets that very intense harsh black and white effect I'm going to increase a blur, uh, the amount of noise to a little bit higher and if I play this now right the only problem is the animation speed now if you don't want to work with noise because the animation is uh, the animation of noise is very very quick then you can work with add grain this is also a very uh, powerful effect uh, what we'll do is that right now it's only being displayed in this box so I'm gonna change this to final output it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a time to render but that's okay I'm gonna change the intensity to say 3 and I'm gonna change the size to say 0.1 point one this way it's gonna you know give us that proper grain effect now if you cannot see anything I can clearly see some things here but de depending on the recording you may not be able to see things so I highly recommend that you follow along with me and if I play this now this is also gonna animate but if you do not like its animation we have the option to control the animation in add in grains if I play this you can see the animation is subtle uh, you know if compared to noise but it's still there and also I'm seeing some color here so I'm gonna to go to color and I'm gonna put on a checkbox on monochromatic right that basically means just having black and white noise and this is exactly the kind of effect that we are looking for right we, we can even control the animation of the noise uh, by going to this animation tab and bringing down the speed to say 0.5 or basically half of the default I'm gonna put a checkbox on animate smoothly and that's gonna help us a little bit if you reduce this to uh, if you reduce the quality to half or something uh, the anim the, the previewing is gonna be a little bit better but uh, the previewing because it's a noise effect uh, can give you you know some intense look which is not really there in the final render so you want to make sure that once you're done with your editing once you have done everything you're at least doing one preview on set to full okay even though it takes a little time go get your coffee go get you know take, take around somewhere and uh, come back and then see the full thing okay so as you can see add grain does add a little effect uh, a, a little power to the computer but I think it's definitely worth it right so I, in my opinion add grain is doing a better job that's awesome next awesome people in order to make this video a little bit better what you can do is you can uh, work on the eyes of your talent uh, eyes are very very important you know uh, all feature film big directors use eyes for communicating their the you know the personality of the character and this is exactly what we are going to do so what we want is that we is that we want to show that she is sad right she is sad she's depressed she's you know intense and stuff and we are gonna you know you know make that you know uh, pop a lot I'd say by doing a little bit of a separate color correction on her eyes so I'm going to duplicate the layer I'm going to rename this to eye left I can uh, you know you can disable the noise layer so you can work a little bit better I'm going to duplicate this one more time rename this to right correct so this is eye left and eye right and what I'll do is I'm going to just work on eye left for now so I'm going to create a mask uh, use a lips tool select the layer I'm gonna basically draw a mask out like that right I'm gonna change it to none just to see that if the if, if the mask is perfect or no and you can see that clearly it wasn't perfect so you can uh, uh, tweak it if you'd like like so right superb now wasn't be able uh, we are gonna select the mask and you're gonna have this tracker change you know sort of completely if you are not seeing this tracker then go to windows and put a checkbox on tracker right here okay so before it's, it's gonna appear something like this once you select the mask it's gonna appear like this and now you just want to analyze I'm gonna go to the first frame oh and you also want to see to it awesome people that you draw the mask on the first frame right now as you can see I drew the mask on the 16th frame if I go back to the first frame it's a little bit off uh, well no worries we can track it like this but it, it would be a, a better if you you know start your tracking from the first frame so I'm gonna pause my video here and wait for the tracking to get over and I'll come back when this is done alright so this is done uh, but the problem is that since we started the track from the 16th frame the previous frames were not tracked so it's okay I'll select the mask one more time and I'll click on uh, you know analyze backwards or track backwards 
and what's going to happen is it's going to repeat the same process but it's just going to go back and as you can see the mask has been tracked in quite nicely superb superb good job uh, next you're going to work with eye right so i'm going to create a mask for that and again you want to see to hit that you're doing the mask on the first frame i wasn't doing that so go to the first frame eye right and you want to do this correct and analyze or i'll change it to none first and then select the mask do, do not have anything else selected it's going to change so select the mask and click on analyze ahead all right so this is going to track one more time the right eye and i'll be back when this is done all right so this is also done awesome people and we have our two eye tracks superb uh next we're gonna and enable both the layers and then we'll firstly change the uh, the mask options to add mask options to add so we can only see two different eyes that's all and that's awesome that's exactly what we wanted now if we switch on uh, the video layer we are going to have this if we switch on the noise layer we're going to have our extreme effect right and this is awesome next we'll go to uh, or actually we'll just select the eye right we will reset the curves and we'll reset the curves for eye right too Right, so you're gonna get this almost a ghost effect that's awesome uh, select both these layers hit the F key for feather and we'll feather out the mask a little bit like so I right, change it to 50 you change both of these guys to 50 and there you go you can even uh, you know enable uh, I'm sorry change the blending mode of these layers something like add and you can and as you can see it's gonna help you pop the eyes a little bit better so this was uh, before right and so after right you see that it's, it's a very small difference but the roto work for us has already been done by the tracker in after effects so now you no longer need to do anything if you want to do something though if you want this to pop a little bit better then we can even you know increase the you know the brightness in the eye like that right it's it's, it's, it's a very subtle effect but it's definitely worth it right so again this is before after correct and I, I think we have pushed it a little too much so i'm gonna uh press ctrl z a couple of times to bring it back to normal so again this i think looks perfect so this is normal and this is without the eye effects right with without superb and now awesome people if i still want a, and if you and if you're not a big fan of black and white you know harsh colors then you can reduce the tint amount to 75 or something and you're gonna get a very hard light sort of effect i've seen this effect being used on a lot of uh, stock images and you know as, as you can see it looks really nice it looks really nice so if you're going for this kind of effect this is how you do it uh, you, you can even add glow and stuff to this but i i by experience can tell you that it's, it's not gonna work on this kind of footage uh, to complete the full effect you can create a new solid i'm gonna call this boxing and add some letterboxing to your final effect right change it to 80 and change the blend mode to stencil alpha and this is what we get so you know this is what we started this is the original clip original without the effects right and uh, this is what we made right a very extreme effect looks really nice looks very intense and this is how you do it in adobe after effects my name is tj style thank you so much for joining me on this video i hope you guys un uh, understood the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and with that being said i will see you all next time thank you for joining me on this video